Unit One. Hello. 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 I'm David Clark. I'm Linda Rivera. Are you a teacher? No, I'm not. Oh, are you a student? Yes, I am. Are you from the United States? No, I'm not. Where are you from? I'm from Canada. Hello, Kenji. Hi, John. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Fine, thanks. Unit two. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes. Are you American? Pardon me. Are you from the United States? Yes, we are. Oh, I'm American too. Are you here on vacation? No, we aren't. We're here on business. Please sit down. Thank you. Coffee? Yes, please. Cream? No, thanks. Sugar? Yes, please. Where are you from? I'm from Los Angeles. Are you here on business? No, I'm not. I'm on vacation. Unit three. What is it? What is it? Is it a fly? No, it isn't. Is it a mosquito? Uh, yes, yes, it is. Oh no! It isn't a mosquito, Mike. It's a bee. Unit four. What's your name? Good evening. Good evening, sir. What's your name? Stern. My name's Thomas Stern. Oh yes, Mister Stern. Room fifteen. Here's your key. Thank you. You're welcome. Is this your suitcase? No, it isn't. Oh, is that your suitcase over there? Yes, it is. Good evening. Good evening. What are your names, please? Johnson, Mister and Missus Johnson. Oh yes. Here's your key. Are these your suitcases here? No, they aren't. Oh, I'm sorry. Are those your suitcases over there? Yes, they are. Is this our room? What's the number? Fourteen. Oh no, no, it isn't. That's our room, number thirteen. Unit five. I'm cold. <laughs> Are you cold? Yes, I am. Well, I'm not. I'm hot. The plane's late. Yes, it's very late. Are they tired? No, they aren't tired. He's hungry and she's thirsty. They're tired. Yes, they are. This is terrible. I'm very angry. I'm sorry, ma'am. Is that book good? Yes, it is, but it's very sad. Phew, I'm hot. Yes, that coat's very warm. Unit six. There's a nice apartment. This is a nice apartment, Miss Garcia. Look, here's a floor plan.、Hmm. There's a living room. There's a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom. Is there a balcony? Yes, there is. And a dining room? Is there a dining room? No, there isn't a dining room, but there is a dining area in the living room. Well, this is the kitchen. Oh, it's very small. Yes, it isn't very large, but there's a stove, a refrigerator, and a space for a dishwasher. There are some cabinets, and、um, there's a small shelf under the sink. Are there any windows in the bathroom? No, there aren't. 
but there are two large windows in the bedroom. Good. It's a very nice apartment. Um, where is the bathroom? Unit 7. Requests. Hi. A cola, please. Regular or large? Regular, please. There you go. Thanks. How much is that? A dollar fifteen. Thank you. You're welcome. Could you pass the salt, please? Sure. Here you are. Thanks. And the pepper? No, thanks. Could I have your phone number? It's in the phone book. What's your last name? It's in the book, too. Very funny. Okay. It's 639-7701. Unit 8. Uniforms. Listen. Find the people in the picture. How do you do? My name's Tiffany Gonzalez, and I'm a flight attendant for Air USA. This is my uniform. A blue skirt, a pink blouse, and a black jacket. It's very stylish. Carlos de Silva is a soccer player for Brazil. His shirt is yellow and green, and his shorts are blue and white. Hi there, I'm Brian. And I'm Diane. We're lifeguards at Bay Beach. Our uniforms aren't very stylish. White shorts, orange t-shirts, and green caps. Adriana Papadopoulos is a firefighter in a small town in Kansas. Her jacket is red, her hat is brown, her pants are gray, and her boots are yellow. Brandon Timmons and Jason Davis are baseball players for the Bayport Seagulls. Their pants are white, and their shirts are black and orange. Unit 9. Whose is it? Hi there, Erica. Hello, Dan. Wow! What's that? It's a 1936 cord. It's beautiful. Is it your car? No. No, it isn't. Whose car is it? It's Jessica Montana's car. Jessica Montana? Who's she? She's my boss. Unit 10. There's some oil in the bottle. Kelly, where's the oil? What? Where's the oil? There isn't any oil in the cabinet. There's some oil right there, in the bottle on the shelf. Oh, okay. Sorry. Are there any onions? Sure. Where are they? They're right here. There's some on the table. Unit 11. An American Restaurant. Waiter, I'd like the menu, please. There you go, sir. Thanks. I'd like some soup. Tomato soup? Yes, and I'd like a steak. Rare, medium, or well done? Medium, please. Which vegetables would you like? I'd like some potatoes, some peas... Oh, and a green salad. Certainly, sir. Would you like dressing on your salad? Please. Which salad dressing would you like, sir? French, Italian, Thousand Island, oil and vinegar? Oil and vinegar, please. Unit 12. Computer game. Okay, that's you on the first level. Go right. Be careful. Don't touch the bomb. Stop! Jump! That's right. Now, go up the ladder. Go right. Quick! Don't open the door. Go left. Jump! Be very careful. Jump again. Don't touch the soldiers. Go up the ladder. Don't go left. Go right. Jump! Don't go up the ladder. Jump again. Get Maria and Marco. Press jump twice. Okay, now go back. Jump. Go up the ladder. Go right. Go left. Jump fast. Go up the ladder and save the princess. Press jump twice. Now go down the ladder and go left. That's the gold. Press jump twice. 
Okay, that's level one. Robbie the robot. Good. Listen to me, Robbie. Turn the vacuum cleaner off. That's right. Now turn the TV on. This is the news. That's great. Now turn the TV off. Go to the door. Open it. Fantastic. Come here. Give me the newspaper. Thank you. Go to the windows. Close them. Now go to the door. Go out. Walk to the front door. Open it. Go out and goodbye. Robbie, Robbie, come back here. Robbie, where are you? Robbie. Unit thirteen. Who's happy? Look at this woman. Her name's Donna Walton. These are her three children: Jane, Daryl, and Michelle. Donna's an English teacher. She's not rich, and she's not famous. Look at her house. It's small, and there's no pool. There are three bedrooms in the house. Donna's car is old. It's slow and uncomfortable. There's no radio or cassette player in her car. There's an engine, a steering wheel, and there are four wheels and two doors. Donna isn't happy. She'd like a big house, a new car, and a lot of money. Look at this man. His name's Zach Zebedee. He's a rock star. He's very rich and famous. Look at his house. It's large and expensive, and there's a swimming pool in the backyard. There are ten bedrooms in the house. Zach's car is new. It's a white Lincoln stretch limo. It's fast and comfortable. In his car, there's a climate control system, a CD player, a VCR, a phone, and a fax machine. But Zach isn't happy. He'd like a small house, a small car, and a family, with two kids. Unit fourteen. My dad can do everything. My dad's really wonderful. He's big and strong and handsome. Really? Well, my dad can do everything. Can he? What? He's really smart. He can speak a hundred languages. A hundred? What languages can he speak? Well, he can speak Spanish, Italian, French, German, Japanese, Arabic, and. Uh, a lot more. Well, my dad's very athletic. Athletic? Uh huh. He can swim, ski, and play football, tennis, and baseball. Oh well, can your dad cook? Cook? No, he can't. My dad is a wonderful cook. Really? Yes, and he can paint and play the piano too. Oh, my dad can't do that, but my mom is beautiful and smart, and she can. Unit fifteen, choices. Please come in. Thank you. Sit down. Thanks. Would you like tea or coffee? A cup of coffee, please. How about a cookie? No, thanks. I'm on a diet. Excuse me. Yes. Can I help you? I'd like a pair of shoes, please. What color would you like? Brown. What size are you? Seven. Can I try them on? Sure. Hi. A frozen yogurt, please. What flavor? Strawberry, chocolate, or vanilla? Strawberry, please. In a sugar cone or in a cup? In a cup, please. There you go. That's a dollar ninety-five. Unit sixteen. What do they have? Hi there, fans. My name's Courtney Dallas. I'm a famous actress, a superstar. I'm from Los Angeles. I have an apartment in New York and a house in Hollywood with a swimming pool and a tennis court. I have a new Mercedes and a lot of money in the bank. I'm married and I have three wonderful children. I have everything. Life's great. Hello, my name's Ike Proudfoot. I'm from Alaska. I have a small cabin in the woods. I don't have a car, a TV, a radio, or a phone. I don't have a job. I don't have any money, and I don't have a family. I don't have anything, but life's fantastic out here. Hello there. Our names are Tina and Chuck Jackson. We're from Chicago. I'm a nurse, and Chuck has a job in a factory. 
We don't have a big house, but we have a nice apartment. We have two cars. I have a new Honda. Chuck doesn't have a new car. He has an old Chevrolet. It's beautiful. And we have two great kids. Life's good. Unit seventeen, at customs. Good morning. May I see your passport? Sure. Here it is. Thank you. Hmm. Okay. Do you have anything to declare? No, I don't. You have six suitcases. Is that right? Yes, that's right. What do you have in your cases? Clothes, and I have some compact discs and some perfume. How much perfume do you have? One bottle. Okay, and how many CDs do you have? Um, three. Fine. Do you have anything else? No, I don't. Good. Now open the suitcase, please. Huh? What? Open your suitcase. Now let's see. Well, look at this. You have three portable CD players, five, no, six large bottles of perfume, and a lot of CDs. Unit eighteen. Which one? Hi, George. It's a great party. Thank you. How about some more salad? Thanks. Which plate is yours? That one's mine. Which one? The empty one. Charles and Lucy would like some more coffee. Okay. Which mugs are theirs? Uh, the blue one's his, and the white one's hers. Are you sure? Um, I don't know. George, give them fresh mugs. There are some on the shelf. Good night, and thanks for a lovely evening. Now, which coats are yours? Those coats are ours. Which ones? The black one and the gray one. Ah, yes. Thanks. The gray one's mine, and the black one's hers. Unit nineteen, travel. Excuse me. May I help you? I'd like some information about the trains. Where to? Montreal. When? Tomorrow. Morning or afternoon? Evening, around six o'clock. Okay. There's one at six forty. Thanks. Excuse me. Is the seat taken? No, it isn't. Is it okay if I sit here? Yes, of course. Is that your newspaper? Yes, it is. May I borrow it for a minute? Yes, sure. Good morning. May I see your ticket, please? Yes, here it is. Okay. Do you have any luggage? Yes, one suitcase. Put it right here. Can I carry it on the plane with me? It isn't heavy. No, I'm sorry. It's the wrong size. Unit Twenty One. What are they doing? Hello. Hello, Laura. Is Scott there? Oh, hi, Jamie. Yes, he is, but he's busy. Is he working? No, he isn't working. He's in the kitchen. What's he doing? He's cooking. What are you doing? I'm reading. Unit Twenty Two. Can you help me? Carlos is a student. He's staying with the Flynns, a family in Boston. Mrs. Flynn, can you help me? I'm doing my homework, and I can't understand this word. Which one? Oh, that's difficult. I'm sorry, Carlos. I can't help you now. I'm watching TV. I can help you later. Oh, what are you watching? I'm watching an old western with Clint Eastwood. Can Mr. Flynn help me? Well, no, he can't. Not now. He's reading. What's he reading? He's reading a magazine. What about Kate? Oh, she can't help you now. She's talking on the phone. Who's she talking to? I don't know. You're asking a lot of questions tonight, Carlos. Yes, I know. I'm practicing my English. Unit twenty-three, shopping. Can I help you? Pardon me. Can I help you? Oh no, thanks. I'm just looking. Can you show me some cameras, please? Sure. What make do you want? I'd like a Minolta. This one's very good. It's a new model. How much is it? 
A hundred and eighty dollars. Oh, that's too expensive. How much can you spend? Around a hundred. Here's one at ninety-nine fifty. Great. Can you show it to me? Good morning. Good morning. How may I help you? I'm looking for a textbook. What's the title? Instant English. Do you have it? Yes, it's over here. How much is it? Twelve dollars. May I see it, please? Sure. There you go. Thank you. Your English is very good. Are you studying it? No, I'm teaching it. Unit twenty-four, the fashion show. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Julia. Julia's wearing a white silk blouse and a black skirt. It's made of wool. She's wearing tan shoes and she's carrying a tan leather bag with a gold chain. Thank you, Julia. Now here's Wayne. He's wearing dark blue wool pants and a light blue wool sport coat. He's wearing a yellow cotton shirt and a red and yellow striped silk tie. Thank you, Wayne. Unit twenty-five. Going to the movies. Victor's standing outside the movie theater. He's waiting for his friend Tanya. He's looking at his watch because she's late. An old man's coming out of the theater. A young woman's going into the theater. A boy's running up the steps. A woman's buying a ticket from the cashier. Some people are standing in line outside the movie theater. Now Victor's in the theater with Tanya. He's sitting between Tanya and a man with a mustache. A woman sitting in front of him. Victor can't see the movie because she's wearing a hat. A man sitting behind Tanya. He's eating potato chips. Tanya's angry because she can't hear the movie. This is a scene from the movie. In this scene, a beautiful young woman's lying across the tracks. She's shouting, "Help!" because a train's coming along the tracks. It's very near. It's coming around the bend now. Unit twenty-six. What's on TV tonight? Hi, David. I'm home. Hi. How are you? I'm tired. How about you? I'm tired too. What time is it? It's quarter to seven. What's on TV tonight? There's a good program on PBS at a quarter after nine. Best animated movies of the year. Yes, and there's a great movie on Channel Two at eight o'clock after fifty-nine minutes. Oh, wait a minute. There's a baseball game on at seven. Oh, I can't watch that. Look, there's ballet on Channel Thirteen. It's beginning now. But Melissa, it's my favorite team. It's a very important game. It's the World Series. Well, you can watch it on the portable TV in the bedroom. Unit twenty-seven, in prison. Tomorrow we're gonna leave this place. Yeah. What are you gonna do first? Well, I'm going to rent a big car, meet my girlfriend, and take her to an expensive restaurant. We're gonna have lobster and caviar. What about you, Fred? My wife's going to meet me outside the prison. Then we're going to visit her mother. Your mother-in-law? <laughs> You're kidding. No, I'm not. I'm going to work for my wife's mother. Really? You're not going to work for your mother-in-law? Well, she has a little diner in Chicago. What are you going to do there? I'm going to be a dishwasher. What? Wash dishes? Well, I'm not going to work. I'm going to have a good time. You're lucky. I'm going to rob a bank next week. Are you crazy? Why? Because I'm happy here in prison. Unit twenty-eight, a wedding. This is an American wedding. The bride and groom are leaving City Hall. The bride is wearing a long white gown and carrying a bouquet of flowers. The groom is wearing a tuxedo and a purple carnation. He's holding her hand. Their friends and relatives are throwing rice. The bride and groom are both smiling because they're very happy. In a few minutes, they're going to get into a white Cadillac and drive to a hotel for the reception. They're going to have dinner, 
and the bride and groom are going to cut the cake. Some people are going to make speeches, and their parents are going to cry. Then everyone is going to dance. Later on, the bride and groom are going to change their clothes. Then they're going to leave the reception and drive to the airport. They're going to fly to Acapulco in Mexico for their honeymoon. They aren't going to tell anyone the address of their hotel. Unit Twenty Nine, Computer Dating. Hello, come in, please. Good afternoon. My name's Jensen, Magnus Jensen. I'm、uh, looking for a woman friend. Please sit down, Mr. Jensen. May I ask you some questions? What about? Well, about music, for example. Do you like music? Yes, I do. I like military band music and classical music. Do you like rock music? No, I don't. And I don't like jazz. Uh huh. Okay. Food. Do you like foreign food? No, I don't. I like meat and potatoes. Okay. Uh, how old are you, Mr. Jensen? What? Listen here, young man. I don't like these personal questions. Oh well. Um, can you fill out this form later and mail it to me? Unit thirty, a scene from a movie. Please marry me, Jacqueline. I want you. I need you. I love you. I'm sorry, Lawrence, but I can't. Oh, Jackie, why not? Well, Larry, I like you. I like you a lot, but. I don't love you. But Jackie, love isn't everything. Oh, Larry, you don't understand. For me, love is everything. Do you love another man, Jackie? Yes, Larry, I do. Not Michael Kennedy. Yes, Michael Kennedy. But he doesn't want you. He's engaged. I know. But Jackie, Mike isn't a rich man. I can give you everything. What do you want? Clothes, money, travel, a house in Palm Beach. No, Larry, I don't want those things. I only want Mike. Unit thirty-one, asking for assistance. Excuse me. Yes. Do you have any change? What do you need? I need some quarters. Sure. How many do you want? Can you change a dollar bill? Yes, I think so. Here are four quarters. Hello. Hello. How can I help you? Could you repair these boots? Sure. What's the problem? They need new heels. No problem. When do you need them? As soon as possible. Is Thursday afternoon okay? Yes, that's great. Excuse me. Yes. Is there a parking lot near here? Yes, there is. Is it far? No, it's not. Turn right at the first traffic light. It's on the left. Thank you. You're welcome. Unit thirty-two, an interview. Arnold Rivera, the TV news reporter, is interviewing Mrs. Cornelia Vandergilt for the program Real People. Well, Mrs. Vandergilt, please tell our viewers about an ordinary day in your life. Well, I wake up at eight o'clock. Really? Do you get up then? No, of course I don't get up at that time. I have breakfast in bed and I read the New York Times. What time do you get up? I get up at ten. What do you do then? I read my letters and dictate the answers to my secretary. And then? At eleven, I take a walk with Jimmy. Jimmy? Who's Jimmy? Jimmy's my dog. <coughs> oh. What time do you have lunch? I have lunch at twelve thirty. I eat alone. Oh, I see. Well, what do you do after lunch? I rest until six o'clock. And at six, what do you do at six? I get dressed for dinner. I have dinner at seven o'clock. Yes. Well, what do you do after dinner? I read or watch TV. I take a bath at nine thirty, and I go to bed at ten. You certainly have a busy and interesting life, Mrs. Vandergilt. Thank you. You're welcome. Unit thirty-three. Every day. Max, a truck driver. 
He's 25 years old. He works five days a week. He gets up at six o'clock every day. He eats an enormous breakfast. He drinks two cups of coffee. Then he kisses his wife goodbye. He leaves for work at 6.30. He has lunch at a hamburger place. He comes home at 5 o'clock. He has dinner and watches TV. He goes to bed at 10 o'clock. Unit 34. What's my job? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to What's My Job? We have three famous people here. Dr. K. Walter Eisenstein, the scientist, Benita Moreno, the movie star, and Rude E. Mallet, the rock star. They're going to ask the questions. Now, here's our first contestant. Okay, Dr. Eisenstein. Um, do you work outside? No, I don't. I see. Do you work in an office? Well, yes. Yes, I do. Do you wear a uniform? No, I don't. Next, Benita Moreno. Oh, is your job important? Yes, it is. Do you get a big salary? Yes, I do. Do you have any special diplomas? Yes, I do. Thank you, Benita. Now, Rude E. Mallet. What's happening? Do you work with your hands? Yes, I do. Do you work on weekends? No, I don't. Do you travel in your work? No, I don't. That's the ninth question. Now you can ask one last question. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not. I'm a dentist. Unit 35. Karaoke. Lemon Computers Incorporated always has an end-of-the-year party for its workers. They usually have dinner and then they dance. This year they're doing something different. They're having a karaoke party. Come on, Brittany, sing us a song. No way. Why not? I never sing in public. But you can sing. Well, I often sing in the car, but that's different. I'm on my own then. Only in the car? Well, I occasionally sing in the shower, but everybody sometimes sings in the shower. Well, there you go. You can sing. Travis, I really don't want to. What's your favorite song? I don't know. I hardly ever listen to rock music. I usually listen to opera. They don't have opera, Brittany. You know that. Come on. Think of a song. Oh, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, our next singer is Brittany Young from the sales division. You always ask me questions. I never tell you lies. Unit 36. A questionnaire. Arthur McNair works for a market research company in San Francisco. He's asking people about their free time. Excuse me, ma'am? Yes? I'm from Market Research Incorporated. May I ask you some questions? Uh, yes. All right. Thank you. First... What time do you usually get home from work? Um, I usually get home about 6 o'clock. When do you usually have dinner? I usually eat about 7, but I sometimes eat at 8 or 9. My husband works, too. What do you usually do after dinner? Well, I sometimes go out, but I usually stay home and read or watch TV. How often do you go out? Oh, not often. About once or twice a week. Do you often see your friends? Yes, I do. Pretty often. I sometimes visit them, and they sometimes visit me. Do you ever go to the movies? Oh, yes. How often? Well, occasionally. I like horror movies, Frankenstein or Dracula. What about the theater? Do you ever go to the theater? Yes, I do, but not often. In fact, I hardly ever go to the theater. Do you ever go to the ballet? No, never. I don't like ballet. Well, thank you, Ms. Ross. May I ask you a question? Yes. What do you do in your spare time? 
I ask questions, Miss Ross. I never answer them. Oh. Unit thirty-seven. What do they do every day? Hello, my name's Chuck Seeger. I'm a pilot for Global Airlines. I fly seven forty-sevens. I'm not working today. I'm playing golf. It's my favorite sport. This woman's a violinist. Her name's Michiko. She plays the violin in the Boston Symphony Orchestra. She isn't playing the violin right now. She's dancing with her boyfriend. This is a picture of Joan and Dave. They teach English at a language school in San Francisco. They aren't teaching right now. They're in a restaurant. They're talking about their students. This is Cynthia Graham. She dances for the New York City Ballet. She isn't dancing right now. She's taking a bath in her hotel room. Later, she's going to dance at the White House for the president and his guests. Unit thirty-eight. Well or badly. There's a baseball game on TV today. The New York Rebels are playing the Chicago Blue Sox. They are both good teams. They usually play well, but today the Rebels are playing very well, and the Blue Sox are playing badly. William Zanziger often has accidents. This is his fourth accident this year. He's a bad driver because he's a fast and careless driver. He drives fast. Carelessly and badly, John Gonzalez is an excellent driver. He always drives slowly, carefully, and well. All his friends say John's a good driver. He's very careful. Susan Yamakawa works very hard. She's a fast worker. Her boss often says Ms. Yamakawa works hard eight hours a day. She's a hard worker and a good employee. Unit thirty nine, leisure time. What are you doing this weekend? I'm going out of town. Oh, where are you going? I'm going to Cape Cod. For how long? Just for two days. Would you like to come to a party? Well, uh, I'd like to. When is it? Saturday night. Oh, sorry, I'm busy on Saturday. What are you doing? Uh, I'm doing my homework. Your homework? That's right. Well, maybe some other time. Right. Uh, thanks anyway. Would you like to dance? Okay. Do you come here often? Sometimes. Do you live near here? No, I don't. Where do you work? In a bank. Do you like it? It's okay. Unit forty, lost in Niagara Falls. Look at the map. Put A. B, C, or D next to the conversations. Excuse me, I'm looking for the Skyline Tower. Pardon me? I'm looking for the Skyline Tower. It's right behind you. You're standing right in front of it. Where can I find the boat trip to the falls? Ah, you want the Maid of the Mists Plaza? Walk along this street. It's the Niagara Parkway. Stay near the river. The road goes around to the right. The entrance to the boat trips is just around the bend on your right. You can't miss it. Sorry, could you repeat that? Pardon me. How do I get to the United States? Just go straight ahead. Go across the Rainbow Bridge, and you're there. This side's Canada. That side's the USA. Which are the Canadian Falls? They're on our right. The Horseshoe Falls is another name for the Canadian Falls. So the American Falls are across the river on our left. That's correct. Unit forty one. Personal information. AMC Movie Theater. How can I help you? I'd like two tickets for Aladdin, please. For when? Saturday at four o'clock. December twenty sixth, four o'clock. That's nine dollars. How would you like to pay? Visa, card number nine 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 eight one six zero two two seven seven four five three eight. 
And what's your name? Lee. William Lee. And the expiration date on the card? July of next year. Are you a student here? Yes. It's my first day. What are you studying? ESL. Oh, where are you from? Sao Paulo in Brazil. Are you a student in Brazil? No, I'm not. I work for an airline. Oh, really? Which one? Varig. Do you know it? Hello. I'd like a membership card for the recreation center. The center is for the Brentwood area only. Yes, I know. Do you live, work, or go to school in the area? I go to school here. Do you have a student ID? It's right here. I'm a student at Brentwood College. Okay. Can you complete this form? I also need a passport photograph and twenty dollars. Is there a student discount? Yes. There's a discount of twenty-five percent. Twenty dollars is the discount price. Unit forty-two. Where were you? Princess Amelia of Sylvania is on a skiing trip to Aspen, Colorado. Princess Amelia employs three security guards. They're outside her hotel now. They're talking to a photographer. The princess has a lot of problems with photographers. Okay, don't move. What's your name, Bud? Hanson, Justin Hanson. I work for the National Questioner. Right. You were here yesterday. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. You were here yesterday afternoon. I wasn't. I was in Denver yesterday. Yeah. What about Saturday? Where were you on Saturday? Ah,、uh, what time? Two o'clock. Where were you at two o'clock? Ah,、uh, I was here on the ski slope. Right. And where were you on January twelfth? I can't remember. It was a Wednesday. Oh, really? No, I can't remember. I can. You were in New York, outside Princess Amelia's hotel. And where were you at seven o'clock this evening? I'm not answering any more questions. Yes, you are, Bud. You were outside the swimming pool, with your camera, and the princess was in the pool. Okay, but there wasn't any film in my camera. Yeah, right. Okay, open your camera. Unit forty-three, vacations. Hi, Joe. Where were you last month? Oh,、uh, hi, Diane. I was on vacation. Really? You were on vacation in January. Yes, I was in Colorado in January. Where were you last month? I was in Florida. Florida. What was it like? Fantastic. The weather was beautiful, and the ocean was very warm. What was the hotel like? Excellent. There was a swimming pool, and a private beach, and there were three restaurants. What were the people like? They were very friendly. Was Suzanne with you? Yes. She loves the sun. What about your children? Were they with you? No, they weren't. They were with their grandparents in Chicago. Unit forty-four. Return from space. Phil Strongarm, the astronaut, is talking about his journey to the moon. Opal Winford, the TV personality, is interviewing Phil. Well, Phil, welcome back to Earth. Thanks, ma'am. Uh, Ms. Winford. I, I mean, Opal. Did you have any problems on the trip into space? We didn't have any serious problems, but it certainly wasn't a picnic. What do you mean? We didn't have a bath or a shave for two weeks. Oh, really? Yes, it, it wasn't very comfortable. What about food? Was that a problem? Well, we didn't have any normal food. What did you have? We had some some food tablets and other kinds of food in tubes. Are you going to the moon again, Phil? I hope so,、uh, Opal. It was uncomfortable and difficult, but it was wonderful. Unit forty-five. Did you get everything? Ron Carter goes downtown every Saturday. He went downtown last Saturday. He usually plays pool with his friends. He played pool last Saturday afternoon. After he leaves the pool hall, he usually goes to the supermarket and gets the food for the week. He got the food last Saturday. He usually comes home by bus, but last Saturday he came home by taxi. Ron, is that you? Yes, Sue, I'm back. Did you come home by taxi? Yes, I did. The bags were very heavy. 
Did you get everything? Yes, I got, well, almost everything. Almost everything? Well, I went to the butcher, but they didn't have any steak. They didn't have any steak? No, so I got some hamburgers. <sighs> Did you go to the bakery? Yes, but I didn't get any bread. You didn't get any bread? Well, no, they didn't have any bread, but they had some rolls, so I got some rolls. How many rolls did you get? Uh, I can't remember. Ron? Yes? What time did you go to the store? Uh, I went at five o'clock. The shelves were empty. Unit 46. In the office. Hello, Gloria. Hi, Jane. Did you enjoy lunch? Yes, I did. Did you finish those reports? Yes, I typed them. They're on your desk. Did you photocopy them? Yes, I photocopied everything. And I mailed the letters, too. Good. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, Mr. Thompson was here. Mr. Thompson? Did he call for an appointment first? No, he didn't. What time did he arrive? About two o'clock. But he only waited about five minutes. That's strange. What did he want? He probably wanted some free advice. Did anybody telephone? No, nobody. Oh, no. What's the matter? You mailed the letters? Yes, of course. But I didn't sign them. I signed them. With my name. Phew. Thank you, Gloria. That was great. Unit 47. The Legend of Willie the Kid. Willie the Kid arrived in Dodge City one evening. He walked into the saloon and looked slowly around the room. Everybody was afraid. Willie had two guns. The sheriff was in his office. He was asleep. The barkeeper rushed into the sheriff's office. Willie, the kid's in town. The sheriff hurried to the saloon. Give me your guns, Willie. The sheriff shouted to Willie. This town is too small for both of us. Willie replied calmly. They walked into the street. The sheriff waited. Willie moved his hand toward his gun. The sheriff pulled out his gun. He fired twice. The first bullet missed Willie. The second killed him. Two cowboys carried Willie away. That was the end of Willie the Kid. Unit 48. Foreign Vacations. Maria's a student at Yale University. She studies Spanish, and she goes to Mexico every summer. She sees interesting places, lies in the sun, and eats a lot of Mexican food. She always flies to Mexico with Aero Mexico. Professor Hopkins teaches Spanish at Yale University. He's Maria's teacher. He went to India last summer. He saw the Taj Mahal and rode on an elephant. He wrote postcards to all his friends. He flew with Air India. Maria's parents went to Italy last year. They toured the country by bus. They saw a lot of interesting places. They ate spaghetti in Rome drank coffee in Venice, and took a lot of photographs. The sun shone every day. They flew to Italy with Alitalia. Paolo's from Brazil. He traveled around the United States last summer. He stayed there for a month. Of course, he ate hamburgers and drank soda. He met a lot of interesting people. He bought a lot of souvenirs and took them back to Brazil. He flew there with Varig. Unit 49. Survivors. Bill Craig and Chris Alonso are test pilots. Last year, their plane crashed in the Pacific Ocean. They were in a rubber lifeboat for four weeks. They didn't have much water, and they didn't have many things to eat. They had a few bananas and a little apple juice from their plane. They caught a lot of fish. They had only a little chocolate. They had only a few crackers and a few apples. They lost a lot of weight. After four weeks, they were lucky. They saw a ship and it rescued them. They wrote a book about their experience. It's called 
Survivors. Unit 50. Fifth Avenue. Misha Botnick is the director of Fifth Avenue. It's the morning after the first performance. He's speaking to the performers. Well, guys, I worked hard. You worked hard. We all worked hard. What happened last night? You were terrible. This show was terrible. Whitney. Yes, Mr. Botnick? Look, Whitney, you're a good singer. You usually sing well. Thank you, Mr. Botnick. But last night you sang badly, Whitney. What happened? I don't know, Mr. Botnick. I sang the last song well. I sang the last song well. You forgot the words, Whitney. <laughs> Why are you laughing, Jason? <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Botnick. Jason, you're famous. You're a great dancer. I saw you dance in Boston. You danced very well. You're the star of this show. I'm sorry about last night, Mr. Botnick. I had one or two problems. One or two? First you lost your shoe. Then you danced badly in the love scene. I only had one shoe, Mr. Botnick. And finally, Jason, finally, you fell into the orchestra pit. Unit 51. Talking about the past. Hi there. I'm David, and I'm your waiter for today. Are you enjoying your vacation? Yes, thanks. Is this your first day in Orlando? No, we came here two days ago. Where are you from? Canada. We're from Toronto. Did you go to a theme park yesterday? Yes. We went to Universal Studios. Did you have a good time? Yes, thank you. Great. Now, what can I get you for breakfast? What did you do last weekend? I went to Tampa. Really? How did you go? I went by car. How long did it take? It took about two hours. Did you have a good time? Yeah, great. Excuse me, I left my glasses here this morning. Where did you leave them? Over there. I was at the table by the window. Well, you're lucky. The waiter found them about an hour ago. Thank goodness. I was really worried. There you go. He gave them to me a few minutes ago. Yes, those are mine. They're new. I lost my last pair. Unit 52. The 6 o'clock news. Good evening. This is the 6 o'clock news from Washington with J.C. Kennedy and Warren Wolf. Last night there was an earthquake in Mandanga. The earthquake destroyed the central bank. Many buildings fell down. The Mandangan army is in the capital. They are helping survivors. The Red Cross sent planes with food and medicine to the area this morning. The Virginia police are looking for two climbers in the Blue Ridge Mountains. The climbers left yesterday morning to climb Mount Blue. It began to snow heavily yesterday afternoon. The police sent out a search party last night. They spent the night on the mountain, but they didn't find the climbers. Yesterday, Washington, D.C. Mayor Nancy Burns opened a new rehabilitation center in the D.C. hospital. She met all the doctors and nurses and spoke to the first patients. Mrs. Burns does a lot of work with the disabled. And that's the news for tonight. Now over to Jasmine Gonzalez for the weather report. Unit 54. Dinner with a Star. Harriet Dormer won a magazine contest. The prize was dinner in Hollywood with a movie star. She's having dinner with Kevin Costley, the actor. Why, Mr. Costley, this is a change. I don't usually eat in restaurants, you know. Well, you're eating in a restaurant tonight. Do you like it? Oh, yes, Mr. Costley. It's wonderful. Please don't call me Mr. Costley. My friends always call me Kevin. All right. Kevin, 
and we're having filet mignon. I normally have franks and beans on Mondays. You see, my husband doesn't like restaurants. Uh, tell me about your husband. What's he doing now? He's just over there. He's recording a video for me. Could you wave to him, Mr. Cup? I mean, Kevin? Sure. What's his name? Andrew. <clears throat> Hello there, Andy. Good to see you. How's it going? <laughs> Thank you. Would you like a drink? Champagne, maybe. Oh, I never drink alcohol. A diet soda, please. Fine. I'd like a diet soda, too. I'm filming tonight. Uh, Kevin, can I ask you a question? Sure, Harry. Well, it's very difficult. Go ahead, ask me. Well, I read some stories in the National Questioner about you, and you're my favorite actor and all, and I just wanted to ask you... Yes? Well, is that really your hair or is it a wig? Oh, I'm sorry, that wasn't very polite. That's okay. It's all mine. You can try it. Give it a good pull. Oh! Yes, it's yours. I'm very sorry. Unit 55. An Accident. Two cars were going down 2nd Street in Lawrence, Kansas. A middle-aged woman was driving a Chevrolet. Right behind her, a teenage student was driving an old Ford. The woman was driving slowly and carefully. The student wasn't driving carefully. He was worrying about his classes in school. He was doing badly in Spanish and physics. He was worrying about the final exams, so he wasn't paying attention to the road. The traffic light was green. A young woman was walking down the street. A cat was sitting on the corner near the traffic light. A dog was sitting on the opposite corner. Oh. 